Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas Football here at the Piney Woods Coaches Clinic in Longview. Here with the head coach of the Shelbyville Dragons, Coach David Bimbo. Coach, uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to uh, chat with us. Absolutely. Anything, anything I can do for you. All right, Coach. Uh, last year, uh, five and six record. Uh, tough first round matchup with uh, Tenaha in the first round of the playoffs. That's uh, never an easy task. But uh, looking back on your season, I know you've had a chance to kind of evaluate things. What, what were you most proud of with your kids this year? I was just proud of the fact that you know they'd had some uh, turmoil there, a little bit of turnover in the coaching ranks uh, throughout the years, and the fact that they allowed us to come in and coach them, put in a system they trusted, they bought in, and we were able to turn the corner and get a little taste of the playoffs, and hopefully lay the foundation for what can be a success program in the years to come. How tough is it, especially for, for seniors, to, to buy in when, when, when they've had a different coaching staff, like two or three different coaching staffs, really. Now you're coming in their senior year. Senior year is supposed to be a special year. Sometimes that can be a tough thing. Uh, how proud of you were you were you of th those seniors for, for buying into what you and the guys were, uh, were really preaching to them? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I got in there last March, and they really set the tone from day one. I think it's just a testament to the resiliency of the kids in Chevville and the community of Chevville that those guys were willing to accept me and understand that – I, I had a plan. They were willing to trust the plan, work the plan, and, and then they got a little taste of success at the end. And so uh, that's that's just, like I say, a testament to the community, to the parents, to the kids themselves, and the resiliency that teenagers have. How, how can you carry that success on into the offseason? I'm sure you, you and your coaches are, are happy that you guys got it, kind of got it rolling at the end of the year last year. Now you're coming into an important time in the offseason. What's the message to your kids, and what's the focus of your offseason program going to be? Well, hopefully right now the thing is, you know, we just have to continue to improve. It's day by day. What we do every day in off season is, is we give them a brick or no brick day, and we just let them know that if they have a brick day, that's a successful day, a winning day. And just like building a house, you know, you have to have – you lay that foundation step by step, brick by brick. And so our focus isn't any, on anything long term. It's just day by day, win the day, kind of the old cliches that coaches use, just have a successful day in off season. And if we do enough of those things right throughout the off season, throughout – basketball, baseball, track, powerlifting, et cetera, then we feel like all that success is going to carry over into what hopefully will be a little bit better season next year. Now, now you're at a small school for those folks that don't know you guys are a 2A Division I program, so you got a lot of kids playing basketball, you got a lot of kids doing other sports. How much fun is it for you as a, as a, as a head coach and athletic director to kind of see your kids in other sports and compete, and how much do you enjoy watching them compete? Because I know it's a big part of the overall high school experience. Absolutely. Well, you know, like we tell them every day, competition makes the world go round in, in athletics and so you know we, we've got a very good basketball team right now our baseball program traditionally is very successful we had 40 kids out for track last year we've got a little over 35 out for power lifting right now so they're believing that if they do what we what, what we have preached to them that they've got an opportunity to be successful and that's the big thing all right, now we're out here at the, at the Piney Woods Coaches Clinic there's a lot of great speakers lined up here a great speaker list you're an offensive guy by trade, I believe, right? Yeah. So do you, for, from your philosophy, do you, when you go to a clinic, do you want to hear the defensive guys talk and hear how they're trying to defend the offense, or do you try to go listen to the offensive guys and maybe get some uh – I don't know some some tricks, extra tricks you can add to your to your bag. We really try to hit a little bit of everything. You know, we try to bring as many assistants as we can. As we said, we're a small school, so we're limited because we have basketball games tonight and powerlifting meets tomorrow with who we can bring. But we're just trying to gather as much information as we can that we can see if we can transfer to our program that's going to give us any kind of edge, hopefully, to get us a little bit better next year. All right, now I'm sure you watch the state championships. I don't know if you were there, if you watched them on TV. Uh, from your perspective, what? Did, how did you think the instant replay? Play, uh, went in year one. Did, did you like it? What 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 was kind of your thoughts on how things went with the instant replay? Yeah, I liked it. I, I thought it was a good deal, an opportunity to make sure all the calls were correct in the biggest games of the year. You want the close plays to be decided on the field. You want the games decided on the field. And you want the calls to be as correct as possible. Now, obviously, you know, there's in our world, we're not going to have instant replay unless we play in a stadium like that. But you just got to get to the state championship game, right? That's, that's what you got to do, right? If we can agree to let the rest of the region, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll be glad to take that opportunity and, and take that away from everybody. But, to, yeah, I thought it was a good deal. I thought, it, again, it exposes the kids to a little bit big time, and I think they like that. Coach, appreciate your time. Enjoy the rest of the coaches' clinic, and I appreciate what you do for student Absolutely. athletes. Thanks for all you do, Matt. We appreciate you. Thank you.